Hello, and welcome back again. I'm really excited to dive deeper into c -sharp code today. In this video, we're going to explore some basic ways to print messages to the console using debug.log and other useful methods for logging. Before we get into the code, let's quickly go over the flow of the game we're building. The computer will randomly pick a number between 1 and 1000, and the player has to guess what it is by entering their guess into the console. If the guess is wrong, the computer will give feedback, telling the player if their guess was too high or too low. If the guess is correct, the game will restart, and the process repeats until the right number is guessed. Now, let's jump back into Unity and start working with the console. We'll be doing most of our work in the console today. Since our game script is already attached to the game manager, I'll just move the console around to give us some extra space to work with. Previously, we wrote this line of code, debug.log welcome to guess a number game. But I'll remove the text game from that for now to keep things simple. Let's take a quick look at what this line actually does. We're using the debug class, which is built into Unity, to display messages in the console. We call the log method using the dot operator to connect the class to the method. Inside the parentheses, we write the message we want to display, and we wrap it in double quotes. Then we end the statement with a semicolon to signal that the line of code is complete. Here's a quick breakdown. Debug, a Unity class used for debugging. Dot connects the class debug to its method log. Log, a method that prints messages to the console. Message, the message inside the quotation marks gets displayed. Semicolon, marks the end of the statement. Remember to always put a semicolon at the end of each statement. It's like the period at the end of a sentence in coding. The debug class is super helpful for printing messages to the console and spotting errors while we're working on our game. Now, let's try some different methods for printing messages to the console. We can use debug.logWarning to show a warning message and debug.logError for error messages. After saving your code and running the game, you'll see different icons for the warnings and errors, making it easier to spot them in the console. Now I'll remove those examples and write the rest of our code. Notice how all the messages are printed one after the other in the console. If you want, you can format your messages to make them more readable. Unity allows you to use a limited number of tags for formatting text, similar to HTML. You can find a list of these tags on Unity's official website. I've included a link in the description below. For example, you can increase the size of your text using the size tag, like this, size equal 15. You can also change the color of the text with the color tag. Feel free to experiment and design your text the way you want. Just remember, don't simply copy and paste everything I'm doing here. Try out different values for yourself. If you don't interact with the code and play around, you won't learn. The best way to learn is by doing, so don't be afraid to get your hands on the keyboard. Now, when you run the game, you'll see the changes reflected in the console, and it looks pretty cool. Awesome, we're making great progress, and you should be proud of what you've achieved so far. If you're having any trouble or have suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. See you in the next lecture.